They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. Don't really want it. I strike with no warning, strike with no they don't see it coming. Don't see it coming. I handle my business, I handle stay my the fuck out the way. Fuck the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. Used in a shooting outside of the varsity will move forward today. Little Dirk appeared in court where a judge ruled there was enough evidence for him to go to trial. Channel 2's anchor Lori Wilson is live near where the shooting happened near the varsity, and Lori police say they have video evidence in this case. Javita APD says they used at least five cameras from local businesses, including this BP, as well as from the varsity across the street in order to build their case against Lil Dirk and his co-defendant. On Friday, detectives from Atlanta and Chicago testified in the criminal case against rapper Lil Dirk in Fulton County Court. They say around 5 in the morning on February 5th, Lil Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Derek Banks, and his co-defendant, Devontae Bennett, were seen on camera involved in shooting Alexander Witherspoon, a person police say they knew. They were hanging out. They went to a um, studio to make music. The rapper and Bennett listened to the evidence against them in court. Police told the judge later that night the victim, Banks, Bennett, and others went to a nightclub, a gas station, and ended up in the parking lot of the varsity. That's when Weatherspoon said he was robbed and shot. He said his chain was snatched off his neck, and he had $30,000 stolen from him. And they stole the vehicle he was driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. You see Mr. Banks' arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Banks' attorney says this is a celebrity witch hunt. Were it not for the celebrity status of these two individuals, then this would be an aggravated assault. Banks released a single Turn Myself In the day he turned himself in. It's gotten almost 7 million views. The prosecutor charging this wasn't just a robbery and shooting, but gang activity. She put a Chicago detective on the stand to testify that Banks and Bennett are members of Chicago gangs. Is it possible to continue your affiliation and even commit crimes when you move out of Chicago if you're in a different city or if a different area? Yes, ma'am. The judge ruled today there is enough evidence to move forward with all charges against Banks and Bennett, including criminal intent to murder as well as criminal gang activity. They'll be back in front of a judge in a month to ask for bond. Live downtown, Lori Wilson, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Lori, of course, we will continue to watch what happens here. Dirk Banks spoke exclusively to Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie just before he turned himself in last month. You're about to surrender as we speak. Yeah. How come? Because I have none to add. Like, I have none to run from. Did you do it? Did you shoot this man? Did you commit the other crimes of which you're accused? Um, no. You can watch Mark's interview with Lil Dirk by clicking on the story on our homepage on our website, WSBTV.com. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society. Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Mm. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is, in hindsight, Obviously today, we got to talk about little Dirk. This was kind of thrown upon me because I didn't even know that this shit was this serious like this. Um, Lil Dirk uh, getting hit with a, a attempted murder and all this shit right here. Uh, Posed it, you know what I'm saying? And see, it's, it's crazy though. It's crazy. But this is the rap trap. This is the rap trap because I'm, I'm thinking. It's crazy because all he did, Lloyd was right though. Lloyd was right. If Lil Dirk wasn't Lil Dirk, and it's so crazy, you know what I'm saying? How they set you up with this shit. If you weren't Lil Dirk, you would have a aggravated assault charge. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm, I really I can't go off no real details with this shit because. I ain't seen no fucking video. They saying they got, I ain't seen no fucking video. If I see the video, like, oh man, that's what that is. 
All I can go on for is this is the fucking rap trap. You're a little dirt. And because you're a little dirt, that caused a nigga to be um, intimidated by you when you came in the club. So you went to Atlanta. And I, I, it was crazy. I didn't see where the fuck these niggas was at. Like, I, damn, I know where the fuck y'all at the, like, that's a, that's a place where you eat it. And it's like, um, it's like, it's like an old time. Like, you know how back in the day you used to get a fucking, uh, a malt. They called them malts and shit like that. And have a, um, the drive-in movies and shit like that. Um, right across the street from that fucking BP. Um, so, you, you know, they say they pull the cameras from there and like five other places, four other places and shit. And, uh, now the detective saying that, uh, you see a uh, little dirt hand out the window shooting. I'm like, how the fuck do you know one nigga hand from another nigga hand? But then, there you go. The rap trap. Maybe they saw that's the seat that you got in, in the car. And for some reason, I'm seeing four niggas in an SUV or whatever. I, I don't, like I said, maybe I'm just... Picturing this shit in my mind, and this is what they're causing me to do, and this is what the fuck the news does. They paint a picture in your mind, and then all of us, oh uh, yeah, that, that's, that's how it must have happened and shit. But I can just look at it, all right, so now, Dirk, you didn't painted your fucking hair blonde, like fucking a Super Saiyan, so now it's not that hard to tell who the fuck is who, man. You're the dude with the blonde fucking dreads. So... Some so the nigga and then they, let's go back to it. The nigga Witherspoon, the victim in this case, you had thirty bands on you, which is is, is yet to be seen. How in the fuck do we know it's thirty bands? How in the fuck do we know? Did they did they? Oh yeah, on the camera view we saw it was thirty thousand dollars. We can tell. What the fuck? How the fuck do you know it's thirty thousand dollars? And this is what the fuck I'm talking about. When you get in this courtroom. Ain't nothing going to be like it was on the street. I was talking to Katrina Gibbs from the Conversation With Me show. Make sure you subscribe right now. Oh, shit. That's praying great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that. If you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast Scully, Scully go for 10, the Me and Two shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirt go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book, Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200, and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction, and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do, yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. Are you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come off. Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. I was telling her, because she, she was like, why the fuck are these bitches so stupid? We were talking when them hoes was, uh, uh, you know, when one of them bitches. Uh, pistol whipped the hoe on camera because she was at her old man house and uploaded that shit. Then the other hoe kidnapped the bitch because she was fucking an old man uh, and then beat her up in the car and then kidnapped her some more. Um, I was telling her, like, the reason why they're doing this shit and uploading it is because the shit that we do in the street 
is not a crime until the police get there. It's not a crime. It's just some regular hood shit. But it, see, like, so a fight in the hood is just a fight in the hood until the police get there. Now it's a fucking, uh, let's say, domestic violence. You know what I'm saying? Now it's fucking an assault case. Assault second and shit like that. But to us, it's a fight in the hood. The police get there and they put them fucking charges on top of you. Now it's a real fucking thing. Um, with this shit right here, it's like, nigga, you don't understand what the fuck you're putting yourself into until you in this fucking courtroom and you got a prosecutor that talk like she fucking know you, man. Like, you ain't did shit until you in this courtroom with your lawyer right here and your lawyer got to keep on tapping you like, it's okay, it's okay. Because this bitch is saying, oh, judge, we have, um, we have audio and video of uh, Mr. Lewis being uh, disruptive um, all the way back uh, in the early 2000s. This bitch is saying early 2000s, but she's talking about 2016. The f how is that the early 2000s? But they got to do whatever the fuck they got to do to make that shit sound as bad as possible. So that shit goes from fucking the preliminary hearing to fuck so they can send your shit upstairs. That's all they trying to do is send your shit to grand jury. So now when your shit go to grand jury, if you can't, and then at the preliminary hearing, they might fucking up these charges. So now I go from uh, a, a bullshit um, assault charge to a fucking attempted murder. You go from a, 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 a possession charge to fucking trafficking. So now, all right, so as you, you may have had a, 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 a bond when you had an assault, or uh, some possession, now, no, nah, no bond. Or your bond is a million dollars. What the fuck? And you don't even, you ain't feeling this shit until you in this motherfucking courtroom. But in order to get in this courtroom, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You have to believe what niggas is saying in these songs. Like, you, oh, you will fuck, kill my ops in front of the cops. Oh, you will fuck, kill the ops in front. Like, so. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm gonna burn this bitch down, nigga. Fuck, man. What an upset, bitch. I'm, I'm with this fucking. No, I'm with this shit, nigga. I'm with this shit. And you so gangster, but now you in this fucking courtroom, and your op is a prosecutor. Not only can you not do shit to her, you can't even speak and say she's lying. You have to sit there quietly. If you make too many fucking faces, the judge might put you in contempt. This is a whole different playing field here. And you can say, I'm going to kill that bitch, all that shit like, but you're not going to kill no, first of all, you're not going to kill no white person. Second of all, you're not going to kill no officer of the court. You're not going to do it. So you just got to take that leak. All a nigga got to do is step on your shoes and you ready to murder something. But this motherfucker is really separating you from your fucking family for decades. And won't shit happen to him. So all that gangster shit nigga talk about my nigga, that shit ain't gangster work but fuck until you actually fuck with the people who actually fucking us over. Prosecuting this bitch, I'm talking about doing a motherfucking thing. You can just, because it's so easy, once you have that uh, legal know-how, it's so easy to turn a um, assault case that may have a uh, gun in it into a fucking... He's a menace. Um, uh, he's been, he was kicked out of high school, Your Honor, for uh, fighting. So he's been, had these uh, violent tendencies. Uh, he's actually, um, his juvenile record is sealed, and we can only imagine what kind of things are in there. Um, judge, it, it's not hard to see that there's some kind of gang affiliation, but, and it, that's, and see, you don't know, but that's where your lawyer is supposed to say, objection. But see, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You don't even, I was about to say this the other night. You focus it so so much on the street side of this street shit, like fucking hoes and uh, selling dope, and 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 putting other niggas down that you're not focusing on the other side of it. There's at least two sides to this street shit. It's the street side and the legal side. You don't got no knowledge on the legal side. So now, once you catch your charge, which you will catch your charge, you all looking, oh, fuck, shit. 
uh, 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 call a lawyer. And you'll go right there in the phone book or go online and just pick any fucking lawyer. And you feel like the lawyer that could, like charged the most, he must be the best at this shit. Only to find out this motherfucker just graduated you his first fucking case. Or a second case, and he lost the first one. And he can just tell you some legal jargon that make you believe, oh yeah, he was, he, uh, no, that, that, I didn't have a chance in that case, but I tried my best. Uh, and we got him some good time. He didn't get the death penalty. They really wanted to kill him. But uh, so he got life without, but at least his, his mother, it, and she calls me regularly. And we, you just tell you anything, but you know, in real life, they hate this motherfucker. Uh, and they even filed a, um, what is it? Incompetent, um, incompetent, um, you know what the fuck I'm talking about when your lawyer ain't do what the fuck you're supposed to do and shit like that. Uh, like, no, nah, I want to fire this motherfucker, but it's too late. It was too late to hire a uh, like the fuck. And the judge ain't finna, they not finna, oh, uh, well, okay, yeah, that lawyer did fuck him over. Let's start a new trial. No new trial. You've already been painted guilty. That And that's to say if the fucking media ain't getting to it. When I say media, understand I'm talking about TMZ and the news. YouTubers are not media. Um... And I explained that in a uh, little recent uh, video. But you're already guilty. You know what I'm saying? To where this fucking lawyer promised you that if you did get found guilty, you wouldn't do more than two years. You're not going to do more than two years. So that means you're going to go up to Kilby and you're going to come home. You're going to go up there, get your number, and come back home. How in the fuck? Do you got a whole 20 straight? No good time on it. How the fuck did that happen? So now you in this motherfucker, you want this bitch stressing the fuck out because you wasn't putting no money from the street into the legal side. So when I get banned, I, not only do I have enough money for my first legal representation, I have enough for the second one. And on top of that, I know which lawyer to go to because I know what I'm doing out here. I'm not going to go nowhere outside of what the fuck I do. To where if it is an issue where some violence needs to be attended, I'm going to be smart enough to say, I'm going to go over here. And that's what niggas ain't like, you ain't, you not with this shit like that, dog. You out this bitch just, nigga, you feel like you in the street, you supposed to do everything in the street. Nigga, you can't do that. How the fuck can you, how the lawyer going to defend it? Do you have enough money for two fucking lawyers? Because if you have a dope case and a fucking uh, a, a violence case with any fucking violence in it, that's two different lawyers. But you wouldn't know that. You don't know what the fuck these motherfuckers specialize in. So you in the street and nobody around you is telling you to get your money right for your prison? Your appeal case? Oh, you're going to be the nigga that don't never get caught. All right. All right. And that, that, that just was so crazy, man. It, it, it's just so throwed off. You gonna kill your ops and front the cops, but you not putting no money down? You had to steal the gun. You didn't even have enough money to buy a gun off the street. You had to steal the gun that you used to shoot a nigga. But some type of way you gonna beat a fucking murder charge with a cop as a witness. This is why a nigga can get frustrated when you hear these lyrics from these niggas. It's like, oh, what the fuck is, what the fuck? What the fuck? You gonna do what? You got a fully automatic what? Oh, dog. And, and, and then niggas don't understand the side of it. Like this nigga Witherspoon. Look at this nigga. Look how sad he looks. Uh, that's all they want. That's all they want out of nigga. That's all they want. A nigga with his motherfucking head down. That's all. You know. Let's talk about the victim right fast. I'm going I'm to I'm go back to the green mile. The victim in this case, all that woofing that he was doing in the club and shit like that to make niggas catch him outside because I'm just not going to believe that little dirt just had to go hit a lick on the nigga that he didn't even know had no fucking money. I'm going to take that chain and shit like that. 
So you doing all this whooping. So you got into it with some niggas at the club. And that's all. It, this, it ain't nothing but a, a, a ball fight. Some white boys get into it outside the club. It's a fucking ball fight. But in this rap shit. Oh, man. Nigga, you got them. Nigga, terrorist shit. And they pile these charges on. And then... How is this not a trap when in this music you have to let it be known what set you with? Like what game are you with? What you claim? Like what are you? And like and niggas don't understand. That's the same exact thing they make you do when you in when you get booked in, you gotta tell them what. So like like this coming in the rap door is kind of like coming into a jail. It's like coming into a fucking jail. Identify everything on you so we know. All right, yeah, it was him. But again, if you can think, if you are a thinking man, if you're a thinking black man, you're not appealing to the public. You're not entertaining. The way this rap trap thing works is we need entertainment. We don't need people thinking, you know, we don't want to see people play chess. We want to see fucking Call of Duty, uh, uh, Fortnite. You know what I'm saying? We want to see killing. We want to see blood, death race. So you out here like a super saiyan, blonde hair, and just in public, we just going to do it to a nigga because it's, it's back to that, 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 that mindset of before the police get here, it's not a crime. We just handling this nigga. Fuck nigga, the fuck you thought this was? And that's how it's supposed to be. Nigga, you round this bitch with a big chain and 30 racks in your pocket, you gotta be connected in the street some kind of way. And that's another thing, like how the fuck, I ain't heard nothing about this shit. I would've thought somebody would've hit me up like, man, little Dirk just got off on a nigga up this bitch. But if somebody would've hit me about that shit, that would already mean that the streets know about it, and the streets know about it, then the police know about it because the streets is full of fucking police officers. That's how they stand on the street, by being police officers. Because uh, I don't see a difference in a, a, a confidential informant. I, I don't, ain't no difference, you're a police officer. Um, so I didn't get no calls on that shit, man. And, and uh, But for a nigga to be going to club and shit like that and, and, and rocking out and just woofing like this, to make niggas come and get them like this. And it must have just been these two niggas. The uh, King Vaughn nigga, which I don't know who the fuck he is. I guess he a rapper too. And then Lil Dirk. And they just got off on the nigga. Just got the fuck off on the nigga ass. And I guess more gonna come out. What I do hope though with this shit is that he breaks the cycle and doesn't fold. Because you will have niggas because, you know, nigga told me goddamn, um, uh, oh, shit, look at that shit. Uh, Lil Dirk got a new goddamn, he got a new fiance and, and got a new baby or some shit like that. So I hope he don't go in that bitch and then realize that, that you know, he got a wife uh, and a baby. Because that's the worst time to realize what you have on the outside or what you have in your life is when you're in an interrogation room when you in the courtroom, when you in the cell. If you got something in your life worth having and worth being around, then do that while you're on the street. That should be all your mind is on. What the fuck is you out here with five? In the club and all this? Like, what are you out here doing all this for if you got a newborn child and a fiance at the house that you love? Actions speak louder than words. What you love is the streets. What you love is this nightlife. Because it's what you out here. You love these pistols. You love this gangster shit. What comes with this gangster shit is this prison shit. It's hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Like love and marriage. Well, actually, you can have uh, a marriage without love. Well, maybe one person will be in love. Actually, they don't because uh, the people who... Um, when the foreigners get married to um, to be Americanized, 
when you get to, if you're married to this person, now you become a, a like the green card and your visa, some shit like that. But it come with it. But you have so many niggas wait till they get in this motherfucking interrogation room, wait till they get in this motherfucking jailhouse for two days, and then realize, man, shit, bro. Damn, bro. Love my family, bro. My mom, bro. She, she depend on me, bro. I just gotta, gotta damn, do what I gotta do. Now you start getting the, uh, and then you get, you go to the weakest nigga in that bitch, talk the Bible and shit. Man, it's time to change your life. No, 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 no. Change your life after you do your time. If you want to change your life, you should have did that before coming in this motherfucker. You should have been changed the life. Because now what you're talking about doing is bringing motherfuckers in this bitch that don't belong in this motherfucker. It ain't their time yet. But still and all. After seeing what happens, like I said, after seeing what happens to niggas after they tell, what's the incentive not to tell? You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to tell like the fuck. We seen it. Well, a, a, a nigga can tell on whoever the fuck as long as it's niggas that nobody give a fuck about. Nigga, you'll come home to a hero's welcome. And if you got the dope and money, motherfucker won't even bring it up. Motherfuckers will even defend you when motherfuckers bring it up when you ain't around. As long as you got the dope and money, that's all that matters. So I'm hoping that Dirk don't do that shit, but in, in all honesty, I just don't see no rappers looking at this nigga King Bond with his blonde streaks and his shit, and I just don't see these niggas being no real stand-up niggas. I'm hoping that they prove me wrong, but when a nigga said that it's on video, Dirk then goddamn walked down on a nigga goddamn me, uh, took nigga chain, took the, and then when a nigga explained it to me, it was as if he had already seen the video. But I can't find the fucking video. I don't see the fucking video. So everybody just explaining it and illustrating it like, oh, man, look how fucking horrible it is. But nobody's seen this fucking video. But that's what the fuck the media, TMZ, Fox 10, CBS, that's the fuck they do. Their job is to make sure that whoever the fuck the jurors are, they already know that this person is guilty. You know that he's guilty. Just before you see any evidence of fuck all that shit, he's guilty. And he's rich, so he got a good lawyer. We all seen what happened with goddamn OJ Simpson. You get a, you got money, you get you a good lawyer, and now you're off the case. So now it's up to the jurors to make sure that criminals go to jail when there's no real evidence. You got an arm coming out a window, and then a non existent, you got an arm come out a window. And then a motherfucking criminal witness. And let's talk about this fucking uh, witness shit. Or the victim. The victim. Weatherspoon, and I feel like they don't got no case, and that's why I said, because if Dirk's people can get to Weatherspoon, they can make him retract his statement, like, oh, no, nah, you know, I don't know what the fuck. And without no victim, the case loses a lot of integrity. Um, but... What a whole ass nigga you gotta be Weatherspoon. Them niggas ain't come get you like they in Chicago. Like, ah, oh, nah, this nigga just had a, a red rag on and shit. Like, we ain't with that shit. You know what the fuck? Or a nigga, even, like, you was whooping at these niggas. You asked for this shit and you got it. Now you got them turning fucking state witness. But you'll be the same nigga. You'll be the same. And then niggas, because niggas just don't understand this shit. Like, you can go to prison. You can go to prison, be the dead of time. You can even be that murder nigga. But that, it really come out a nigga. Like this shit will really come out a nigga when he gets shot or he get arrested. The hoe will come out a nigga when he gets shot or when he get arrested. You'll see exactly what's going on. But I still, like I told y'all, I, I rely more in a nigga going to jail and seeing what he do in the interrogation room I put more stock in that than I do seeing what a nigga do after he gets shot because being stabbed, uh, having something penetrate your body as a man, it does something to you. You can, in the club, here, here it is, this situation. So, with a spoon in the club, fuck nigga, I wish your bitch ass nigga would in this bitch nigga. GD nigga, GD nigga. This, this nigga, this Sue over this bitch nigga, what the fuck going on? 
So, because they trying to make this shit into a BD situation, and they done blew motherfuckers in from goddamn Chicago, like, oh yeah, these niggas just, they gang banging all over the world. No. With a spoon there, bitch, big wolf and all that good shit, and you can do all that shit, because niggas wonder how motherfuckers flip flop. The interrogation room, and a nigga getting shot or stabbed, you'll see a whole 360, 180, and a nigga personality. Because these are things that just really can blow a nigga mind. As you woofing, you ain't nothing wrong. You just, nigga, you good. Everything is, is intact. You don't have anything. There are no issues with you. When a bullet enters your body, it's not even about the heat of it or, you know, how hard it is. And all, it's about you being penetrated. Something just went into you and as that came in, something came out. And it, it's like a, it's like an operation. It's an operation. And no longer are you in this um, exaggerated uh, version of yourself. Now you come, you, you come, not only do you come back down to who you really are, but you go all the way into like, I need help. Someone help me. Please, someone help me. I'm I'm vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Like all the things that happen when a nigga get raped, it happens in the nigga mind when he gets shot. Oh my, you know what I'm saying? And then to see, and I say, once you get shot, if you have the reaction or the response of kill these niggas immediately, then you know that's that's a different type of nigga or whatever like that. But that's still not to say that he won't get into the interrogation room and give another nigga 20 years. So, as, as you in this bitch, uh, ah, right, nigga, what's happening, nigga, what the fuck? Now you outside in the, in the parking lot and shit like that, niggas put something in your ass. Now, ah, 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 and then you see a nigga face like, you don't see no kind of remorse. Niggas ain't trying to help. Now you scared for your life. Is it over? Huh. Ah. So this nigga trying to crawl back to his fucking truck and shit like that. Nigga pull him out the truck and take the truck. And see that that's just where the shit get crazy at. It like what before they went in his pocket and took his chain and shit like that. But it just like this shit is like distorted. Like they pulled the nigga out the truck and took the truck. All this is coming because they didn't get no fucking statement from Dirk them to say that shit. So it had to be. With a spoon saying I had thirty thousand on me, they took the chain off me, then they shot me, god damn I be damn. Oh Lord, I was trying to get the truck to you all You know what I'm saying? Like he just embellished on the story when it could have went a whole nother fucking way. He could have been the motherfucker doing all the shit, but yet and still a gun was pulled out and the nigga was shot. So a crime was committed. So you gotta be in this bitch tight lipped. Like I can't believe this bitch ass nigga told these motherfuckers and it's like that's not how it happened at all but it don't matter what the fuck how it happened you pulled the fire and shot a nigga so that's the crime right there but it's like that's the rap sheet um your celebrity brings so much more and, and uh, uh his lawyer said this shit like if this wasn't little dirt it would have been an aggravated assault case but because you're a little dirty, ah, oh, we gotta, we need to get these gangbangers off the street and all that shit like this. So you got to take us flying in, and then you got to sit through all this motherfucking. It just, like I said, it just in itself. If you can't see how this is a very vivid illustration of the snake eating the tail, I don't know what to tell you. So like, they put you on this pedestal. The same people, because it just, if, if you don't believe when I tell you that. The label owners are CIA agents. Just put it like this. The people that own these labels are not running from the police. They're cool with the police. They don't mind the police. They're probably friends with the police. So just that in itself, they probably have some friends that are goddamn, you know, prosecutors and they don't have no issue with them. They probably live in the same neighborhood. So you don't think they notice? All right, so hey, one of your artists is coming in my courtroom this week and shit like that. Oh, really? Just that conversation in itself can go so many fucking places. Really? Oh. 
Well, I noticed, you know, we got the numbers and uh, since he's been arrested, numbers went through the roof. Might need to do this more often. And it's like, you know, so you get, so you get artists to talk about violent shit and then, no, first what you gotta do is get niggas on your label who can't think for themselves. So you go out into the street and pick just the most run-of-the-mill niggas and just pick them niggas up, put them in this position, and you just see it. Take K, YNW, Melee, Kodak, Black. The list will go on and go on. Niggas can't think. They can't think. And that just helps everyone. The judicial, everybody eats off this shit. And if they don't go to jail themselves, they'll make the soundtrack to a nigga ending his life, literally, or through prison time. And nobody, ah, it's all good. Nobody speaks about it. And that's the issue. So like I said, I hope Lil Dirk, you know, does what he's supposed to do. Go in that bitch, hold it down, rock out. Um, but either way it go, his career is over. Nobody gives a fuck. Uh, and that's another thing too. That's another thing. Cause I'm looking at the labels. I'm looking at the labels. Maybe the label see like, okay, so now you got your fiance, you got your child, you trying to settle down and shit like that. Let's throw something in front of you. And I don't, like I said, I, I don't, I don't know how they would throw a nigga like Witherspoon out there in front. But it's like, shit, we can't goddamn. We ain't gonna make no more money off, but you goddamn, we might as well just fucking, yeah, just fucking charge them with anything. Fuck the shit. They got all the money in the world. They can, like, the, the prosecutor works for them. That's what I believe. The prosecutor works for them. You know what, though? I think Dirk, actually, I think that he, um, he got off the label. He got off the label, so that's another thing. You fucking leave us, this is how we do you. Here what it is. This has been a wrap trap. Make sure you hit that PayPal, hit the like button. See you in a minute. Love. The news ain't gonna end it.